All right, pre-workout, and you wanna know how to take it. I kinda gave you a brief explanation on my last video, but today I wanna go into depth. I wanna talk about fasting, dosages, when and when you should not be taking it, what time, how to burn it off, what about your coffee intake, and should you cycle on and off? Now here's the thing about pre-workout is that you can't take it forever. You can't take it every single day because it's just like you're drinking coffee every single day. One cup used to be amazing, but then one cup wasn't enough. So then you started having two cups. Two cups, not enough. Next thing you know, you're up to four, five, even six cups a day, and you still don't feel any energy boost. You just need it to live at this point. So the same thing happens when it comes to pre-workout, that you can't take this stuff forever. You have to cycle on and off of it, and you need to know when to take it and when not to take it so that its potency and effectiveness stays on you. Now, first, we're gonna start with fasting. Now, some argue that the pre-workouts won't break your fast because it is zero calories. Zero calories has no effect on your body because there's no calories for your body to digest. So they're saying that it's gonna create no insulin spike or no blood sugar spike because there are no calories. But then some would argue that due to the sweetness of these artificial sweeteners, that it does stimulate a response to your blood sugars or more so your insulin, which then kicks you out of your fast in preparation for food. So instead of trying to figure out, is it going to break my fast or isn't it? In my opinion, it will, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to lose fat and that you're not going to lose weight. It just means that if you're doing a true fast and if you wanna know the difference in fasting, then you gotta go and find the video where I talk about fasting. But it might not be a true fast, but you're still in a low calorie burn, which then your body will need some type of calories to provide fuel for your workout. And if you've been fasting long enough, there's a good chance that we're gonna dip into those fat stores. So will it technically break your fast? Yes. But if I gave you the pre-workout in your plan, then there's a rhyme and reason for it. You're still going to lose weight and drop fat if that's your goal. And if we're focusing on muscle, I'm gonna find another way to make sure that we're growing those muscles. But for now, will it kill your fast? 100%. Now when it comes to dosaging, how much should you take? Well, you wanna start with 150 milligrams of caffeine. Focus on the caffeine and less on the serving size because these bottles and these scoopers are all different. So most of them will say a half a scoop is anywhere from 150 to 250 milligrams per half a scoop. Don't go into a full scoop, especially if you're not trained in this stuff because you're gonna be flying. And when you fly that high, it's gonna feel great for a little bit, but then you're going to crash and it's gonna be the worst crash of your life and you become dependent on this stuff. Most of us are already dependent on caffeine or coffee, right? We can't live without our coffee. And in fact, I did a challenge the other day where I challenged everybody to go coffee free for one day. They can have decaf, they can have tea, they can have pre-workout, but a lot of people hated me for 24 hours because I removed their coffee from the day. So a lot of us are already dependent on it. So you need to make sure that you're modulating how much caffeine you're taking. I'll go into that in just a little bit. But to start you off, I would tell you, focus on the caffeine intake. So look at the ingredients on the back. If you're taking the C4, half a scoop is about 150 milligrams. Do that for two weeks, okay? So that's a half a scoop. Then do a full scoop for another two weeks and then you wanna alternate between a half a scoop and then a full scoop every week after that. And you wanna to try to do a week where you actually kinda of cleanse your body of this, right? You just wanna cleanse it. You wanna let your body's sources naturally recover. And then this way, when you get back into that cycle, you're gonna be recharged and ready for that. Now, when it comes to like the non-training days, I would swap this pre-workout because there's a lot of ingredients in there that help with the muscle. So I would take one of my daily coffees, so if you are up to three coffees a day, and which is about 150 to 200 milligrams of caffeine, I would actually take a half a scoop and put it in a, like, a full liter of water, or less if you like it sweeter, and then drink that as one of your daily caffeinated boosts. And then this way you're still feeling the muscles. But you can't take your three cups of coffee on your regular non-training days and then have a half a scoop of pre-workout. It's gotta remove one of your coffees for that day. It might be your only coffee. Maybe you remove that and then substitute it with the pre-workout. Now, when it comes to timing, <laughs> some people get affected differently. So if you take it when you're at home, it takes you about 20 minutes maybe to get to the gym, you could be raging in the car, 
Okay, so you have to know what works best for you. Most people, they take it about 15 to 20 minutes before they work out. The last thing I want you to do is to just get to the gym, pound back a scoop, drink your water, and then like halfway through your workout, you're getting that rage, right? We want that, that rage, that pre-workout rage to kick in as soon as you lift that first weight or do that first exercise. And you want that so that you're burning it throughout the workout because you wanna burn this off, right? You want your body to metabolize it. The fastest way to metabolize anything is through activity and through movement. The more activity, the faster the movement, the more you lift, then what ends up happening, your body utilizes whatever you've given it and it'll be in and out of your system flushed out so that you're able to sleep. If you try taking a pre-workout at 8, 8, 8 p.m. and you do a lame ass workout or you take it too late where you didn't burn it in your workout, guess what? You're gonna have trouble sleeping. So there we have it guys. When it comes to taking pre-workout, we gotta understand that will it break your fast? I'm going to say yes, but if myself or one of the belly burn coaches gave it to you as a pre-workout, we're gonna find another way that's gonna help you to lose weight and drop fat. If you want to start it off slow, which I recommend, then you do a half scoop or focus on the amount of caffeine that you're intaking, the 150 milligrams, do that for two weeks. Try to avoid taking pre-workout along with your regular amounts of coffee that you have throughout the day on non-training days. So if you have three coffees on a non-training day, let's say Sunday's your rest day, instead of having three cups, you get rid of one cup, maybe even two cups, and you have that half a scoop of pre-workout, which is equivalent to about one to one and a half cups of coffee. When it comes to timing, you have to know what timing works best for you. I don't recommend just downing a scoop right before you work out. I would suggest to give it at least 10 to 15 minutes for it to kick in. This way your body digests it and burns it off so that you're able to sleep. So there we have it guys. If you're get, looking to get into the pre-workout game, I actually like it, the C4. I haven't gotten any hangovers or headaches from it. Seems like it's a very clean supplement. It's the one that I recommend right now. It's gotta be the C4 Ultimate because it does have the two forms of creatine that I mentioned in a previous video. So if you're gonna get on that pre-workout, let me know how it goes. Make sure you give the video a like. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And if you or anybody else is looking to get started with Fit Club, myself, my team, you're looking to shred down, build up some muscle, head on over to our website, www.fitclub.fit, and send us a message today.